Well, if a king or queen doesn't come on this flop, he's going to win the hand. I promise you that, Sam Trickett will. And that's a good flop for him as he's got a pair and a gut shot straight draw. Oh, no. Get on the merry-go-round, G. Don't bet here. Did he give any I'm sure he didn't move. Well, Trickett has checked here. Did he actually move? No, like when you asked him the question. Now, to Tony, that makes it look like he's got an ace high. So, Tony thinks the only way he can win this pot is to bet at it. He thinks Trickett's got like ace jack, something like that, ace 10 suited. Like a marionette like tilts the head up and down. I was thinking, what the hell are these guys saying? That's what I assume. She's just, you know, the puppet master here. Patrick's puppet master. Yeah, Sam Trickett must have asked him, do you know I checked? Or something like that. Do you know it's on you? Believe me, it's a pretty easy job. And he is about, I believe, Mike, unless a king or queen comes, he's about to get himself in a whole load of trouble. Well, he bet 25,000 and got called. And now an ace comes off. It's not a great bluffing card for Tony G. No. Tony's fearful that Sam has an ace in his hand and now has two aces. And now a seven comes off. Trickett has made a straight. Now, is he good enough to check right here to lure Tony into possibly bluffing at this pot, which would be the only way Tony could win the pot, but we know that's not going to happen. No. Yeah, I feel like in Sam's mind, uh, Mike, uh, Tony G would have checked on the turn after hitting the ace quite often, you know, fearful the Trickett's got something big. And, and the Trickett may be hoping to get paid off by an ace. Well, Tony trying to figure it out here. And if he makes a play right here, he will be pounding that panda on the head. He does lay the pot down, lays the hand down. Sam Trickett's going to pick up another pot off Tony G. And even the one time at the table that he had position on Trickett, he managed to lose the pot, so. <laughs>